So we help um, many different counties across the state of Colorado. Um, many counties don't have their own animal control and they don't have resources to investigate animal cruelty. So that's where we come in. Um, we have a team of about five investigators and we all take different counties and we go in and we investigate the animal cruelty. More times than not, that's just resolved with educating some people. Most people don't know like what's required to take care of their animals or like basic necessities. Um, so sometimes we can close it out with a simple education. And then sometimes we do have to move forward with like the more serious cases where we actually have to impound on cruelty. Um, so that's basically what we do is just investigating cruelty across the state of Colorado. We focus a lot on education, and that can be education towards other animal control agencies as well as law enforcement agencies across the state of Colorado. Um, we try to put on several trainings a year, and tons of people from different agencies come over um, from all over the state of Colorado. So we're basically a huge education and resource for the entire state. What keeps us going is when we get to see the animals recover from the neglect they may have suffered um, at both our locations up at in Denver, down in the valley, we really focus on rehabilitation and adoption. And at Harmony Equine, the horses that may come in unhandled then get to be adopted and have very happy lives. And seeing that happiness really keeps us going. So if anybody suspects or is concerned with any animal, um, anybody can call in a welfare check and that is typically where investigations start and you can do that by contacting your local law enforcement agency or animal control um, or even CHS and we can go out and we can check on the welfare of those animals. Can you, I don't remember the second part of that. What happens after? So we're gonna go out and we're gonna check on the animals and make sure that they are in good si a good situation. And if they're not, then we are gonna move forward with an investigation. But it really does start with just a welfare check, uh, making sure those animals have the basic needs and are in good condition. The toughest part of our job is probably not being able to save every animal that we come across. Um, it's very difficult when we go out on cases and we can't save every animal. My team is uniquely special. Every single one of the investigators brings something special to our dynamic. Um, we all work very well together. We count on each other. We can finish each other's sentences. Um, and we know what everybody needs when we go out on cases. Um, we are a very tight network of people. <laughs> I don't know what I like that, but I, this part especially. So we work with many different departments at DFL, including our transfers and intake team. Um, they really help us out when we have to bring animals in from our cases. Um, our vet services team also is a huge help. They take care of the animals that are medically needy, and they also help with evidence collection for our cases. I think the most rewarding part of our job is seeing the animals that we've taken in from our cases go into really good adoption situations. Getting to see that all the way through and getting to see them go into loving homes um, is really cool. And also getting justice. So we serve 56 counties in the state of Colorado. Um, and it kind of depends on what exactly that county wants from us. We can initiate the investigation and conduct the entire investigation, um, or we step in and assist them in any way that they need in an investigation that maybe they already initiated. Yes, um, I think a lot of people have a misunderstanding of us coming in and just kind of bringing the hammer down and impounding people's animals. Um, that is always a last resort for us. And we don't enjoy 
in pounding, a lot of what we do is education and providing resources. You know, a lot of times we'll go down and we'll let somebody know that maybe they're not meeting a base care requirement for an animal. A lot of people don't know. So if we can teach them that and work them through that, that's great. Or even if we can go and help them with a vet bill or help them with a resource, that's a lot of what we do.